So right now we're by the St. Louis Airport, and the St. Louis Airport runs against Interstate 70. What you'll see as we pull off is how each of these municipalities has tiny, tiny stretches of land here. So you'll go from one municipality and then just half a mile later, another municipality, half a mile later, another municipality. And the and idea is to, to catch people speeding as they're late for a flight or... Yeah, this is where people speed. And this was growing up as a non, as you're gonna see right now, as you can see pulling on, there's a St. Anne police officer. There's a St. Anne police car right there. And if you look right here to the right, you're gonna see we were just less than a minute ago in St. Anne, now we're in Bridgeton. And as we move up, you're going to see that each of these municipalities just gets a little stretch of land, and that makes a lot of revenue for these towns. So look right here, right here on the left. You just got somebody Jesus, else with three of them. Somebody else was pulled over. Look, <laughs> look over, look on the right side of here. So that's St. Anne right now. But notice we just pulled into Bridgeton. Okay, now we've got, let's see what police officer this is. That is, I don't know, it's not marked. That's St. Anne also. So that, I mean, yeah, I don't want to say we were lucky, but that's amazing. That shows exactly what happens. That we're technically in Bridgeton right now, according to the sign. Three St. Anne officers, so we just saw four in a span of a minute. You know, everything from I've seen a kid get a, arrested for having saggy pants to seatbelt violations and the hundreds of dollars that you'll see in fines that come up from each of these. So from what I have heard from my clients is that they don't see these police departments as protecting and serving. They see them as being major revenue generators for the town. So they don't see them actually as officers. They almost see them as people who are just constantly imposing a poverty tax on them. Because they know that if they don't show up to court, they're going to get a fine. That fine will double. It'll triple. And but the part that was most surreal for me is I felt like I was in um, a movie where they talk about you're at the Starbucks and you can see the other Starbucks. So if we turn around from right here, if you look right down here, you need to take a step back from the trees and you can see those who have that great an arm, but I could throw a baseball and probably hit one city hall to the other city hall. Um, and I think that that's pretty emblematic of how many different tiny municipalities we have. And this is going to begin a roughly 10 mile stretch where there are about 16 different municipalities. Almost every one of them has its own police force and its own courthouse where they uh, collect violations of municipal ordinances, uh, fines and court costs stemming from that. And as you can see, there isn't a whole lot to Edmondson. Um, it's a very small municipality, but it is located adjacent to Highway 70 here. And if you come out here on a on a weekend day or at the beginning of the month, you'll see many of Edmondson's finest uh, along, the along the road policing their municipality, issuing tickets for speeding on Highway 70. It's not uncommon for one of our clients to have tickets in eight or ten different municipalities at one time with three to five charges in each municipality. So if, that, if something like that happens, it's virtually impossible for them to to navigate that system by themselves, and it creates real problems in their lives. And if they miss a court date, then right, the work goes out for the rest. That's the right. fine goes up. Exactly. And it's additional. It's an additional charge. The failure to appear is an additional charge. A person, an indigent person driving through here, would be subject to potentially 16 different jurisdictions if they were driving from Saint Anne to the city of Saint Louis, and if they've got if their car hasn't been registered, they can be pulled over for, in theory, 16 different times for that, uh, for that violation.